and we're going to read a story from the Tory Toy Story Storybook Collection. A new toy. Andy was a young boy with many toys. He loved playing with all of them, but his favorite was Sheriff Woody. Woody was an old-fashioned cowboy doll with a pull string. He had been Andy's best friend since Andy was in kindergarten. He even had a special spot in Andy's bed where he slept each night. Woody and Andy had all kinds of exciting adventures together. Andy had a playset of an old western town. When Woody caught the bandits in town, Andy pulled his string. Reach for the sky, Woody would say. Once the good guys were all safe and the town was peaceful again, Andy would pull Woody's string. You're my favorite deputy, the cowboy said. One day while Andy was playing with his toys, his mother called out. Your friends are going to be here any minute. Okay, Andy said. It's party time. He ran up the stairs to his room and dropped Woody on his bed. Then he went to the crib and picked up his little sister, Molly. See you later, Woody, he called over his shoulder as he left the room. After Andy and Molly left, the room was quiet for a moment. Then Woody sat up and rubbed his head. Pull my string, he said. The birthday party's today. Woody waved at the other toys in the room. Okay, everybody, coast is clear, he called out. Slowly, the rest of Andy's toys came out of their spots. Out from underneath the bed and out of the toy chest. Woody drops down from the bed onto the floor. All around him, toys stretched and chatted something they could only do when there were no humans around to see them. Woody looked around the room until he saw the toy he was trying to find. Hey, uh, Slinky? Woody said as Slinky Dog approached. I've got some bad news. Bad news! Slinky Dog cried. Shh! Woody whispered. Just gather everyone up for a staff meeting and be happy. When everyone was ready, Woody said, Okay, first item today. Has everyone picked a moving buddy? Andy and his family were moving to a new house in one week. Woody didn't want any toys to get lost or left behind. Woody made a couple of more announcements. Then, when he couldn't hide the bad news any longer, he lowered his voice and said, A minor note here, Andy's birthday party has been moved to today. What? All the toys yelled at once. Woody explained that this was because of the move. But the toys were worried. Every time Andy got a present, they were afraid it would replace one of them. No one's getting replaced, Woody said. Then Ham announced that the kids were arriving. Woody sent the green army men downstairs with a baby monitor. They would radio up descriptions of each present as it was unwrapped. Andy got a new lunchbox and a board game, as well as a few other presents. Then his mother pulled out one last gift. Before Sarge could give a full report, the baby monitor cut out. The toys were frantic to know what the last present was. Just then, Andy and his friends raced into the room. Andy dropped the last present on his bed. Then the kids ran back downstairs. Woody was on the floor surrounded by the other toys. They looked at him, wondering what to do next. Let's all be polite and give whatever it is up there a nice big Andy's room welcome, he said. Woody pulled himself up over the edge of the bed. The last present was a new toy. He was a bright plastic action figure in a spacesuit. Howdy, Woody said. My name's Woody. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, the new toy said. The other toys crept closer to meet Buzz. They were impressed by his laser and the wings that popped out of his backpack. Buzz thought he was a real space ranger, sworn to protect the galaxy from the evil Emperor Zerg. The toys listened to his tales of adventure and awe. Then Buzz showed them how he could fly. He bounced off a rubber ball, rode around a racetrack loop, and swung from a model airplane. Woody didn't think Buzz was all that special. That wasn't flying he said. That was falling with style. No one listened to him. They were too busy helping Buzz repair his spaceship and trying his workout plan. The other toys weren't the only ones who thought Buzz was a lot of fun. Suddenly, he had become Andy's favorite toy. Woody looked on sadly as Andy traded his cowboy hat for a space helmet. He replaced his cowboy sheets with new Buzz Lightyear ones. And worst of all, Buzz took Woody's special spot on Andy's bed while Woody slept in the toy chest. One evening, Andy's mom took him and Molly to Pizza Planet. She said he could bring one toy with him. Woody wanted to be that toy. 
He planned to knock Buzz behind the desk where Andy couldn't find him, but instead Buzz fell out the window. The other toys glared at Woody. They thought he was trying to get rid of Buzz because he didn't like being replaced as Andy's favorite toy. Wait a minute, Woody said. It was an accident. I can explain everything. Andy burst into the room before Woody could finish. Be right down, he called out. I gotta get Buzz. When he couldn't find the Space Ranger anywhere, he grabbed Woody. Then he ran downstairs and hopped into the car. Buzz watched Andy from underneath the shrub. As the car started up, he ran and leaped onto the car's bumper. When Andy's mother pulled into a gas station, Buzz jumped into the back seat with Aunt Woody. Buzz, you're alive, Woody said excitedly. This is great. You can tell everyone that this was all just a big mistake. Woody smiled. Buzz wasn't happy, though. He tackled Woody so hard that they both fell out of the car. They were so busy fighting that they didn't even notice Andy and his mom get back into the car until it drove off. Doesn't he realize that I'm not there? Woody said as he watched the car disappear. I'm a lost toy. (laughs) Buzz was talking into his wrist communicator, trying to call for help. You're a toy, Woody yelled at the Space Ranger. You aren't the real Buzz Lightyear. Buzz shrugged. You're a sad, strange little man, he said. Then he started to walk off. Woody wanted to let him go, but just then a Pizza Planet delivery truck pulled into the gas station. Woody knew he couldn't return to Andy's room without Buzz. He told the Space Ranger he'd found a spaceship that would help get him home. The two toys climbed into the truck. When they arrived at Pizza Planet, Woody led the Space Ranger over to Andy and his family. They needed to get close enough to hop in the basket of Molly's stroller. Okay, Buzz, get ready in. Buzz? Woody turned around to see Buzz striding toward the rocket ship crane game. He thought it was a real spaceship. Buzz climbed the game and fell into a pile of toy aliens. Woody followed. Suddenly, Woody gasped. Sid! He said, get down! Sid was Andy's neighbor. He liked to destroy his toys for fun. The claw started to move. It clamped on Buzz. Woody grabbed Buzz's foot to hold him down, but it was no use. They were both pulled into the air. All right, Sid cheered as Woody and Buzz dropped into the prize slot. Double prizes. Sid reached into the door under the prize slot and picked up Woody and Buzz. He smiled at his two new toys. Let's go home and play. <laughs> he said with a wicked laugh. Woody knew they were doomed. They might be taken apart or blown up, but worst of all, they might never see Andy again. The end. 